everything is done except add suspension. They're quick and easy to install. You can pick it up. Like that. We won't get the replacement part till two days. This is a very common thing that the threads on the nut are very fine and this just sometimes they just happen. Um, it's not anything I did wrong, it's just something that happens sometimes. Uh, so they're sending us a replacement part that will replace the nut on top and he told me to get a sawzall or something and just cut it off. All right, we can drive out of here, we don't have to get towed. It's okay. Do we have to be careful? Yeah, we should definitely be careful. We're not gonna go too fast. We're gonna go real nice and slow. I'm not gonna kill your car. Oh my god. Megan has like a Doja Cat obsession. And honestly, Doja Cat's got some bops, but... But Megan doesn't need to sing them. Thank you. Today's a big day. We are fixing the suspension. We are waiting for a part to come from Super Springs, and it finally arrived yesterday. So we picked it up last night. We're gonna go install it today, but we're gonna go meet up with someone special who you may have seen before on our channel, and they have their own channel. Surprise, surprise. Oh my God, what let's see got? them um, pony toes. <laughs> Look at those toes, baby. Ooh, they're about to be a little more free. <laughs> But before we go there, we're gonna finish our coffee and head to the climbing gym and get some showers because we do have a two week membership that we got uh, at another climbing gym in Utah and it's been fun to go there and get climbing again. So let's move on out. Cool. I feel like I forgot how to vlog. I know, we've been building for so long. Start to be climbing again. So that was a ton of fun getting a little climb in. It's a short one though, since we do have to go help Charlie because some people just need us. I know. All the time. It's been really great to climb again. I'm excited yeah. because we haven't climbed since that last video of us climbing for two weeks. We've learned some things, I think. We definitely learned some things. Like, like well, don't climb every day. Yes. Yeah. It's a really easy way to burn out and get injured. So we're hitting the road. We're getting back on it. We're going to go stop and get some jack stands because we did get a comment on our last video about how I didn't use jack stands going under the, under the van. And I realized like, yeah, I knew I should have had it to begin with. And um, you did. Yeah, it's like a very basic working on car safety thing. Um, why didn't you do that then? Not the reason why it broke, but like safety first, baby. I know. Safety first. Let's go shopping. That was easy. Hey, homie. Hey. What's up, dude? Hey, buddy. All right, we're here to supervise, and Matt's gonna work on the sumo spring. The springs. Springs. The sumo springs, finally. But we're on this like kind of weird street. Kind of at an angle. Matt, what's your plan? I'm just gonna do one side and then turn the van around and just do the other side. Yeah. I think that'll be fine. I'm just waiting on Megan to make some food so she can get out of the van so I can raise it up, get under it, get some work done and then be done with this project. Bacon, onion and stuff, some pasta, this is gluten free. I don't usually have high hopes for gluten free stuff, but we try it anyways. Oh, it's gluten free? Yeah. Uh. Baby, gluten makes your face all splotchy. I know. Well, you can have some watermelon while you wait. Oh, thanks. I'm privileged to eat. We're gonna make it pesto-y and it's gonna be delicious. Honestly, the texture of the gluten-free pasta is um, not it. It tastes like a combination of brown rice, amaranth, and quinoa, not pasta. Whatever. Whatever. We got jack stands this time because that is a safe thing to do. I just wanna say, if you guys made it through the entire build series, Thank you so much for watching that. That was such a labor of love putting that together. And it was kind of cool putting everything out at once. Next time I will put them out in order so that it's not all confusing like I did this time. So if we do that again, 
let us know if you'd like that style otherwise we're gonna do like we normally do two videos a week mondays and thursdays for now it's a sexy stance baby you like it yeah it's very bendy does it make you moist in your loins yes nice comment down below if you feel moist in your loins Get him. That is in place with the lever locked. And now we take a little pressure off the van so it's resting more on the jack stand. There we go. And then we tighten it back up. One little pump, two little pump. Nice and sturdy. Safe. Important. So because that bump stop is spinning freely, I'm gonna to need to use a sawzall to cut the bolt that holds it on. And then I'm gonna to need to use this little replacement piece that I got from Sumo Spring Company to slide it into the frame. And then I'm gonna thread in the new bolts into there. This will be what it attaches to. These pythons broke some shit last time. Let's see what we can do in here. That's the thing, huh? Sawzall. Sawzall. When I first heard someone say sawzall, I thought they were saying sawzall. I didn't know it was a sawzall, like it saws all. This is the old guy? This is the new guy. You want me to grab your nut? Yeah, come grab my nut. Here. Can you put it in my hand? Party time? Hopefully. You got it? How in the hell do I freaking tighten this thing? So you're gonna need an extension, a 17 millimeter socket, and they give you Loctite. So you're gonna take the Loctite, you're gonna put it on the threads here, and then you're gonna just screw this into whatever the nut is that's underneath the frame of your van. If you didn't break it like me, you're just gonna be able to screw it right in. If you did break it like me, you're gonna use that little adapter piece, put it just on the threads, and then plop it right up there. Needed a beefier one? Yep. If this doesn't work, Oh my god. You got it? No. It's not looking too good. We're gonna have to try your idea. Move it over? Yeah. Alright. What's happening? Nothing. It's fine. Alright, Matt can't get it under there, so we're thinking it's because of the slant. We're gonna try to move it to the right a little bit because we might be able to get it on more stable ground. Let's try this again. That immediately looks better. Oh my god. You know how fucking stupid we are? So depending on what part of the video we've edited in or out of this whole ordeal, it's time to put the Loctite on the threads, put the threads through, and into the frame, which is going to be connected with this because I broke the original nut. And it's raining. Cool. What's wrong? Can't get it out now. Right there. You gotta muscle stuff. Nice. Is that installed now? Yep. All right, let's lower it down and see what happens. Ooh. Nice. It's sitting like flush onto the thing. That one went on. It's on now. It's, looks pretty cool. I don't know if it's gonna drive different yet, but I'm gonna spin the van around, do the exact same thing on the other side. This is one of those projects that should take like 30 minutes, but instead has taken several hours over the course of several days. But it is what it is, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That thing is stuck. Oh, yeah. People say they have a hard time keeping plants on the road. They just seem to find us. So Charlie just dropped something and I picked it up for him. So I feel like I'm helping in some way. There are two people building here, and uh, I'm just watching. Hey, Charlie. Hey. <laughs> All right, time to put this bad boy on. Cut it in. Boop, plop, beep, beep. You're down in three, two, one. Done. So with that, we are finally done with all of the upgrades that we had planned for this van. We're still waiting for the cushions and the mattress to get here, which should be sometime next week. 
So you guys are gonna have to wait until then to get the before and afters and the van tour. Like this video, comment, subscribe. We're not done yet though. I feel very accomplished. I'm glad that that's done and over with. I think we need to celebrate with some champagne. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. We're ready to pop it. Ready? Yep. Oh, remember the last time we did this and it spilled everywhere? All right, we'll just run to the sink if, if it um, goes anywhere. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Matt, it's fine. Okay. It's fine till it's not fine, right? Yay! Yay! I just think this is such a huge accomplishment to us. To us. Cheers. Cheers. Megan's back to editing. I'm back to stuffing my backpack with as much stuff as I possibly can because we're planning a really big trip. We're doing a big thing. We're doing a really big thing. It should be awesome. Yeah, so let us know what you think about the Netflix style. If you guys liked it, let us know. If you didn't like it, let us know. Yeah, we could do it again. 